What's going on? What's going on, family? Let's get straight to the business. Uh, let's get that thing off. So, uh, Australia dollar and most dollar pairs have been dropping. Um, they've been dropping, and then we had some news today that the news was. It wasn't as strong as I thought it was. It's just Colin, you know, what was his name? Powell, whatever. I don't pay attention to him. Powell was talking. Um, he got to talking and, and, and it made the dollar good. So Powell is here for the dollar. I get it. He's here for the dollar. That's what he does. Cool. And it's, it's kind of obvious sometimes that um, everyone just puts a sale and everything that's in you, G and you, whatever, and a, a buy and USD CAD, USD JPY. Every time he talks, and you know, I don't, I don't usually do that. So, what we have here is an update for a USD. Right here, we see a complete liquidity graph, because <laughs> obviously here on seventeen one one six three area, buyers like to come in, take the market out. Uh, the reason why I put that line in there where I was talking is because we had a channel breakout. Um, when was this? This channel breakout. When did this happen? A couple of days ago. We, I actually personally took a buy off this W, but we got, you know, it rejected the low. Let me put that in there so you can see. Rejected the low. It rejected this low over there. As you can see it and um drop back down but it never created a lower low you know what happens when we see stuff like this a channel breakout a nice big candle push probably on um the, oh, what was this because this is daily and then we get back to this buying area and we have a wick down you know news it's all it's all for for the right reasons we have a doji on the daily in a big giant wick down. If this doesn't close below this area and there's Australia news tonight, we might have an AU set up. Now, this, I'm not saying that I'm gonna get into this trade. I'm, there's, there's always possibilities. Nothing is um, absolute. We might have a good, nice trade. Now, the way I trade, is highs and lows. Let me let me go ahead and put that on right now so you can see. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go to fractal, and we're gonna put on Rachel's fractals. Rachel has fractals, and she shows um, where's her? Probably gotta go in the settings. So it does show the higher highs and the higher lows on her settings. There's probably some other things that uh, your visibility, inputs, show higher low, show time fractals, take the zigzags off. There we go. So it's going to show me the fractals and the lower low. So this lower low, Australia's bank buys off of. So now we're here again. Yeah, the U.S. Like I said, the U.S. thirty made some U.S. made some news, but we have a liquidity grab. To me, those are liquidity grabs. I don't care what nobody say. If the market is one hundred nine and the market closes below this area, and we start going down, seeing W's and you know the stuff that we want to see to our confirmations. And honestly, the way that's moving, hmm. I like I like the I like the structure of the market in the lower time frame. So we can get we might get the possibility we can get in this trade to take profit one to be this low. Take profit two will be this low. And I mean if it comes and takes out this, that's cool, but I will wait on this one. I'll have this TP1, TP2 for all Aussie dollar. Um I just whew, I just got a big bad mass 100. NAS 100, it dropped during that news and we collected that um, um, the retrace. Mm, mm, mm. Went up like four or five R 
four or five percent off that, and that was beautiful. That's for AU. I don't usually trade AU, but I have friends that love to trade AU. So I wanted to give out um, this video to show the illustration of what's going to happen. Um, as far as the dollar is concerned, because we always want to make sure we know what the dollar is doing when we're trading AU, NU, GU, EU. That was my projection for the dollar. Of course, the news pushed it back up, but the news pushed it back up. To this trade. <laughs> I'm laughing because if you turn this upside down, it looks like AU and EU and all them look like we might because we got stopped out of EU, but we already closed half and put stop loss at break even. So we got a really big bag with EU. I love trading EU when the dollar is making its move. It looked like it just came back up to retest this this line. And I feel like it's going to make these moves back down, especially to come back to the structural low. Well, this would be a structural low, but this second structural low. So a break, retest, break, retest, break, retest, and continue. Only reason I'm saying that for the dollar is because we have a retest area that the dollar's at right now. Then. Remember, you can always look for um, the sharp moves of being the support and resistance. So somewhere around this area, where that sharp move is at, we're gonna get a reaction. And it's not gonna be a good reaction because this is the weekly. So you get a weekly reaction, it might just retrace. You know, maybe back to the higher high, then start trying to find its way back up. So we might have GU, EU, AU, all of them might, we might have a turnaround and see some nice movement to the upside which is great because they've been dropping for a long time. They're still on a downtrend. Like, let's go to GU, GB, GBP, USD. Understand what, when it comes to market structure on a higher time frame scale, that we're literally just taking a pullback. Look, look at this, this is a downtrend, right? This is definitely a downtrend, but we can get a nice pullback on a, a lower time frame. You know what I'm saying? Like we can get a nice pullback. So let's just see, uh, let's see what happens from here. Um, before we get off, I want to show you Euro USD. I might have to, I might have another setup with them too. Euro USD. Um, because yeah, it just wicked. So we caught this whole move from down here all the way up here, and it whipped us out. The stop losses at uh not even at break even, but um just look at the structure. Look how beautiful this is. Like, here's the trend line that got broken with that candle. When it broke with that candle and it pulled back down here, see, we were already in, because um, we were already in the trade in the first place because it got to the bottom of the channel. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> so, so, check me out. So we already, come on, we already got in because it never made it down to this trend line and somewhere on the lower time frame gave me a signal to get in. So we got in and we got really lucky and had the breakout. And then we got another buy right there and got in. You know, all both of the buys on EU got stopped out, which is okay. But let's see, where are we at structural wise? That, that structure, Right there is one that we have to worry about. But see, it's just the complete opposite of the dollar. Our take profit was this one, take profit one was gonna be that one. Uh, we already made it past that, but then now here we are again at this, this area that got rejected. Rejection, so now we still in the buy, even though on a higher time frame is a sale, we'll look at it now, we have a reversal and it's going to come back and start taking out some of these areas that it that was broken. Now, ultimately, the only way this will become an uptrend on a higher time frame is if it breaks the structural high, which is all the way up here, or maybe this structural high. Maybe if it breaks this structural high and then retest it, then we'll have a legit uptrend. But until then, we down here. We're dealing with what we got in front of us with price action, and that's what it is. Gold, I, I'm actually in a buy with gold right now.
believe it or not. We're in the buy right now, and I'm only taking it to this last structure that just broke. The reason why I have this illustrated right here, because I'm in the buy right now, and when it hits take profit, or I mean, I got my stop losses that break even, I, it's down there. If it comes and breaks this and comes back in this area, look what the buyers do on this area. Buy, 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 buy. Buyers buy off of this area and it broke it, right? If it comes, breaks and retests, the buyers are gonna get back in and shoot this thing back to the moon. So those, that's what I'm looking for for gold. And we're all, all is based off the DXY. Because it is, like I said, the market is very mechanical. So understand the mechanisms of the can of, of the the market understand the mechanisms of market structure understand the mechanisms of your niche of what you're looking for when you're looking at trades and you'll be a great trader all right and i will see y'all in the next video just giving you a good brief synopsis of what happened and what we're seeing in the market and what we're going to be looking for peace